you know, that same system, the same system. And it's going to impact so many states. It's a very large system. And for multiple days, we'll get the leftovers of that into tomorrow. Ooh. So this is some peace and quiet that we have in Metro Detroit. So for enjoy now. it because right. unfortunately it's not going to last long. Let me show you how it looks out there. We're rep reporting a little bit of fog down there in Monroe at 37 degrees, Adrian at 39. And Ann Arbor at 32, Detroit's holding on to 47, Pontiac at 40, and Mount Clemens at 41. So it's a decent start. Temperatures are still fairly mild for this time of year, but I will show you the cold front that came through in the low pressure system. That's drifting east. High pressure brings the sunshine back, at least for now, giving us a nice quiet day. So today is the pick of the week, but I want to show you what's going on. There's a lot of energy coming together out here. Snows, those are falling on the northern fringe of this storm system, but we have more severe weather potential with this same storm as it drifts across the country and it's going to get us eventually, but not today. So here's a look at the sunshine that we'll have. Numbers stay in the 40s. We'll call it cool and sunny for today, but we'll have a mild finish, but the skies are not going to change much. So we stay bright. Highs around 63 for the high temp in Detroit. Thinking by the fifth inning, we'll be closer to 62. And clouds increase, but we stay mild after the game. So highs will climb to around 63 in Detroit, but a few of us could actually touch 64. So either way you put it, it's just going to be a nice day and it's going to be mild too. For tonight, as the clouds move in, 52 is where we'll stop with the temps and then we'll turn around into Wednesday. We have a shot at climbing up to 70 degrees, but unlike today, it's just not going to be a pretty day. Clouds will be there initially, scattered showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder first thing in the morning, but the better chances of this activity will arrive going into the afternoon. Some heavy rainfall will be embedded with this as well, so there is an opportunity for some localized flooding, unfortunately. And then as we get towards your Wednesday night, another batch of storms could move in. So we're talking about two rounds here, so it's going to be an active Wednesday. Even though we climb up to 70, it's just not going to be a pretty day. 57 as we cool down behind that front and looking at the holiday weekend from Good Friday to Easter, temperatures will be dropping 49 degrees on Sunday with sunshine and some cloud cover.